order to be successful in that and to do it is simply you divert your attention inwards and just look when you get up in the morning and you're functioning during the day just pay attention where are the complaints like you get up and all of a sudden something is happening and something is going on which is not in your favor and you don't really uh, don't like it. Something in your life is happening and you don't really like it. Okay? And your mind starts going crazy. Your mind starts coming up with all kinds of different stories. You just simply be aware of that. Take a look at it. That your mind is creating a story. Your mind is coming up and telling you that what is, whatever is the situation, should not be like this and it should be different. See where that happens. Because it's definitely not written on the sky. You definitely don't get an email. No one's coming to your home and knock on your door and give you a certificate or kind of a mail. It's certainly happening in your mind, in your thoughts. That what is, is not perfect and it should be different. Because you know better. You know better than God. You know better than the creator of the universe. You know better than the creation. And creation doesn't know what it's doing. Because it's not according to the way you would like it to be. And the way you would like it to be is based on the ideas that it's been implemented in your mind. And that depends on which culture and which training you're coming from. If you're coming from a very religious um, culture, then you would like to view world very religious in the way that you've been brought up. If you're coming from a pseudo-spirituality and new age spirituality, then you would you're viewing the world that it should be according to your belief system based on your conditioning. If you're coming from a family is very military and militant and very disciplinary, then you're going to start viewing the world and life from that, that place. And that's your perfect idea. You know, if you're coming from a, let's say, you know, in the past it was communism or, you know, you grew up in a very strict, you know, a communist kind of a mentality or you grew up in a very capitalistic mentality that everything is about gain and making money and, and, and expanding your finances and this is how you really grew up and that's all you know. So that's your reality. And anything which is not going in that way and is not according to, to your wishes, then it's wrong. Am I making any sense? Are you with me? It is the conditioned mind that dictates and brings all these things up for you, that things should be according to the way you believe it should be. And when it doesn't go that way, what happens? It creates suffering. 
It's not your desires that create your suffering. We all have desires. Desire is very natural. It's a part of being a human being that you have desires. And of course, all desires will lead you to pain or pleasure. Suffering is a complete different story. But now, let's say you're practicing this for one week. I'm going to give you a homework to do. So why don't we practice this for one week? That. Implement this in your everyday. Just do it for one week. You don't have to convert. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to follow this or anything. I'm just giving you a tool and try it. And if it doesn't work for you, you don't have to do it anymore. But see if it works for you. If you implement this point of view, that whatever you are dealing with during the day, be open to that thing, whatever you're trying to accomplish or you want, be open to it, doesn't go your way. It doesn't, it doesn't go in that direction. And be okay with it if it doesn't go your way. Because what else can you do? Even let's say you have invested in real estate, you have invested in a relationship and then either the real estate investments go sour or you lose money in stock market or the relationship you're invested in and that person tells you no, what else can you do? What can you do? Can you force them? Can you put a, just a gun in there, someone's head and, and threaten them to go out with you or to be with you? You can't, doesn't work that way. So if you have invested in real estate or stock market or whatever it is, and things don't go your way and you end up losing or not making money or something like that. So if you have this attitude of acceptance of what is and not really just looking at it from this other perspective, of a higher level of perspective, that you did everything you could to manage this endeavor and this project, and you did everything you could do for, to get to, for success, but it didn't go that way. And you look at it like, okay, existence, God, love, spirit, the creator, of, uh, the creator of this creation knows better. And so things went in a different direction and you're surrender to that and you're okay with it. Then how can you suffer? 